A man accused of murdering his wife and son was booked into the Alachua County Jail this afternoon. Investigators say Russell Hogg of High Springs was extradited from Columbia County today. The shootings took place on Sunday afternoon, but TV Twice Chris Gilmore spoke with members of the Hogg family who say it wasn't the first time police were called to the home over the weekend. Heard the gunfire and then heard screaming and uh, you know, we were a little concerned about what was happening. What was happening is something that came as a shock to Randy Murray and other neighbors. Russell and Trenda Hogg's daughter, Joanna Hogg, told TV20 off camera that the High Springs Police Department responded to 911 calls from the residents at least twice this weekend. At one of these visits to the eventual crime scene, family members tell us that police actually had Russell in handcuffs, but allowed him back into the home after his son, Tony, declined to press charges, a decision Joanna and other family members believe was fatal. And we continue to, to work to see uh, what brought all this on. It was some type of domestic incident, incident obviously, and uh, we'll get to the bottom and figure out exactly what triggered it. Family members now say it was not an argument over a truck that set off Russell Hogg, ending with the shooting deaths of his wife and son. Joanna Hogg says instead her father, quote, was not in his right mind. Family members spoke of Russell and Trenda's 31-year union that was derailed after the death of their son in a 2006 motorcycle accident. A union that ended in gunfire and death. Other than, you know, High Springs is a safe place to live. This is just an unfortunate tragedy that, you know, could happen anywhere. Unfortunately, it happened here in our town. An uncommon case that is yet to be closed. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News. Hogg faces two charges of premeditated murder.